hi everyone I'm back finally with my first YouTube video for 2015 and it's a birthday card so what I've got here is a piece of white cardstock that I'm going to cover completely with distress ink and I'm using the colors of the rainbow or close enough anyway um, and um, this one here is barn door now I know that when you add say I added yellow to that I could have made orange in the middle but I'm just not going there um, some of them are, are not as wet as others the ink so I just thought I would use the actual colors so this one here I'm using wild honey now this piece here is going to be uh, put in my Cricut cutting machine to cut out some numbers and you'll see why in a, in a minute when I've done this so this one here is a squeezed lemonade then I've got shabby shutters broken china and I finish off with chipped sapphire so I'll just speed up the video now so that um, you don't have to sit there and watch me go through all this. Okay, I haven't covered it completely um, because I know my letters are, are going to be cut at one and three quarter inches and this is cut at two and a quarter. And I forgot that I should have had a bit more red up the top to give me a layout room to cut it. So I'm going to wait for that to dry before I go and cut it. So we shall, I'll come back and we'll move on. I've now cut it. It took me a few goes because this mat is not very sticky. So what I've done is I've positioned it as close to that red as I can so it gets most of the cut all well, the colours there and so then uh, if I had my spatula I would use it anyway they're done there so what I'm going to do now with it with both of these numbers is take some Versamark ink and I'm going to dip each of those numbers in there, cover it, uh, grab a scratch piece of paper, sign to the zero. Now it's important that you remember the orientation that you cut these out. So the red has to be at the top if you're using the rainbow colours. Uh, because I've done a um, background piece this, um, with the gradient there. So that will become clearer soon. Now I'm just going to use some holographic embossing powder on this. This is Rangers. And just put this on the side first and I'll heat set this. Okay, so there we have the 70. Now I've also pre cut some plain white card stock uh, with the Cricut um, the 70. Now I'm going to have this as a four layered number, so this gives it the um, dimensional effect. So I've got three plain white sevens and three plain white zeros 
what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use some of Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to glue these together. crooked but anyway that's dimensional it's going to be on white on a white sh um, layer of cardstock so that's okay all right we've done the 70 now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the balloon die from a sheet of white cardstock so and I'm going to center it on there because we want to have some text up the top and down the bottom for th oh yes we do for this one okay so what I do is center it on there and then grab some washi tape and, and to hold it in place but um, before I put this washi tape on there, I'm going to get rid of some of the stickiness. Okay, and it's about right, I guess. Well, if I put this here, all right, this up, this is the top layer, and it measures, and it should measure three and seven eighths across by five inches down yep so it's five inches high by three and seven eighth inches wide so uh, I do this because um, I can get two sheets out of um, an A4 sheet it's um, only eight and a quarter inches by uh, 11 and 3 quarter inches so if I cut the, if I make my cards to 4 and an eighth wide by 5 and a quarter inches tall and that's how I can get two cards out of a sheet of A4 paper all right so when this die here is from Simon Says Stamp and it's the balloons die so that's it there Simon Says Stamp and it's this one here that I'm using, the middle size. There's five in the set. Okay, so I'll just go over to the big shop now and cut that out, and I'll be back. Okay, so it's cut. And I'll just remove it. Okay. Now, this piece which I prepared earlier was big enough to sit behind that balloon there. Now we need to adhere it to the back of that and I'm going to go over at least a quarter of an inch both sides of the side of that balloon and the balloon's three inches wide so I'm going to cut this at three and a half inches. Okay so and remembering that the red goes up the top and then we can stick it down. So what I want to do is make sure. Okay, yep. Yeah. If I put so what I'm going to do is put some one eighth inch tape around well along the um, two long sides there. just fill all that up. 
this area around it with some wet glue, I think. Okay, so that's the right side, that's the wrong side. So, oh, okay, right side, that's got to sit there like that. Got to hide that tape, so that's where it's going there. Right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the tape backing from this piece, then apply the wet glue and then stick it down. So now, with that bottom piece, oh, that positioned at the bottom, just stick it down. So however, however that lands is how it is. Okay, so that's it there. And what we can do, we can cover that. Uh, well, we don't need to cover that. It's going to sit on top of a piece, a coloured piece of cardstock, and I've just chosen yellow. And it's cut at four inches wide by five and an eighth inch tall. So that's going to go there like that. Now these numbers we did, let them um, here. They're going to sit in there like that so that you've got roughly your colours um, lining up. So your back piece and your glittered piece up there so that's going to be sitting on there like that and then okay so those I use I use the learning curve Cricut cartridge this one here and I uh, use the shadow effect and I cut it at the numbers at one and three quarter inches Okay, now what I might do now is um, do some stamping first. Okay, and for this one, I haven't um, done one of these before um, with the celebrate, so I don't know whether they're going to fit. So let's see. Um, I'm going to put happy birthday up there. What's that will fit up there. Um, and then I want this celebrate stamp. This is a Kaiser Craft Save the Date set. I want this celebrate. And it's going to go all the way down there and I've got another stamp that's got let's celebrate on it but I just want to use the word let's so let's try and mask some I think I'm going to have to use my stamp and magic for that let's see if it's going to fit it will, but will I put down the let's down here or over here? Over here, I think I might put it. So maybe if I stamp the celebrate first. So we're going to ink this up in Onyx Black Versafine ink. Making sure it's all covered. Um, Kaiser Craft clear stamps are not the best quality. Okay, so and I probably pressed a little bit too hard there, but I'll live with it. It's a bit um yeah, you could probably see there. It's a bit sort of blurry. That's okay. Um, now, let's do the lips. 
I could probably put it right above it, so we'll try that. Okay, so the ink pad, and I think I might mask this. So let me grab this um, tape that I used, and uh, actually, let's just, yeah, I don't want to get that any other part of that stamp um, contaminated with any ink. Okay, let's take that off and stamp it. Okay, now we want to do that again. Let's position it on here. Yeah, um, yeah, that's that's good enough. I'll put that there, right there. But that's where I'm going to have it. And we'll get some more. on this stamp okay obviously press that down too far okay now let's just ah doesn't that want there we go oh that's awful stamping these are cds these purple ones really don't like that I might even just on the next one I do if I do another one actually hand write it myself Okay, so the happy birthday should work out fine. It's a, it's from a set called something. Hmm. Can't remember where. It, oh, Hero Arts. This one's the Year Round Sentiment. Okay. Much better, you can tell the quality of the stance, that's for sure. It's beautiful. Let's celebrate. Happy birthday. Let's celebrate. So that's that. Now when that dries, I want to wrap on some baker's twine before I attach this to the um, yellow layer. And I think it's going to have to be pop dotted because we're going to have the um, baker's twine behind it. Now I've got yellow baker's twine here so I'm going to wrap it around three times so So let me just line this up so I know where this, okay, here. So I want the um, twine to sit about there. So I can put, oh, now I can't remember where it was. I'll put this on the, my mat here. I'm just using the grid mat here. So there's the middle, okay, so we want that to sit about just above the 4 and 7 8 inch mark, okay. So what I'm going to do is just put some tape down, so 
so there's the four just above it I said so in the middle of that is where I'll put it about there okay right that looks crooked but anyway oh there's the nail okay so I'm going to start it at one side and probably start it at on an angle there like that so that it comes up to here and then we'll come up here and down and then in the middle like that that's what we're going to do and then cut it hey all right let's just make sure that it's down so that's what we've got there so then I just take another bit and now yep and tie a knot in it and then a bow okay in the middle is that right there then a little bow That will do, I think. Let's sit that down with a um, blue dot or something later on. Okay. So I want that to sit up there like that. So we'll put, we'll put a little bit of. No, not glossy accents. I'll use. I can find it. Ah, oh, matte medium. Okay, so I just want to put. Ooh, a little bit, not a lot. Okay, so I just want that sitting up there. Alright, let's just smother it then. And hold it there for a bit. So my card base for this one, I've decided to have a top folding card. Well, open from the bottom. Oh, um, so this was cut at four and an eighth by ten and a half. Scored at five and a quarter to make five and a quarter by four and an eighth. So then that's the front. So I'm just going to open that up. Lighten it down, S line it up on my grid mat because I'm going to stamp the inside sentiment now. And I'm using a Kaiser Craft stamp set, so let's hope that it works. Um, and it's from the stamp set called Today, and I'm using Today is Your Day. So I'm going to ink that up with some. Onyx Black Versafine ink, making sure that it's all covered because it's a fairly solid um, stamp. And you can sort of tell if it is or not. Okay, that's going to have to do. Reason. Okay, let's just. Alright, let's try it. Straighten this up again. Maybe if I use two hands, it might not pop out anything in it. Alright, let's try that. Um. There we go. Now I'm really going to make sure that I press down on this and leave it there for a bit so that the ink can soak into the cardstock and hopefully cover it completely. 
and pretty darn good although it's probably now a bit um blurry but there we go it's all covered completely all right that's done now what we're going to do um i was going to dimensionalize that wasn't i but first off what i would like to do i think is round the um or corner trump the bottom edges so if i can find my yep there we go and i'll do it with the half inch okay so let's see if that's gonna work so half inch there and there Ugh. there we go and then we'll do the same to the middle layer and then close this up and do the same to the card base all right so now i have applied some double-sided tape to that so what do i want to do do i want to put this yet yeah, no i'm going to put this on last so let's remove the tape backing from this middle layer the colored cardstock piece and stick it down first okay and let's see if I can do this evenly <gasps> okay done something there we go that's not too bad actually all right now I can put the numbers on last, but I need to probably write the, um, no, actually what I'll do is I'll attach the numbers first. So I've got to write the TH 70th. So, making sure they're positioned where they should be. And then what I'll do... Put the zero down first and I'm going to use some glossy accents for this. just get I'm using Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen Black and it's an XS Oops. okay and I'm going to write I could stamp it I could find a TH and I do have a TH stamp but it'll do. Happy 70th birthday, let's celebrate. Okay, so now we're going to put on some dimensional tape. stopped before it and continued after it because it's now got a little bump in it so it defeated the purpose of adding the um oh dear there we go okay there we go Happy birthday, let's celebrate. And you see the 70 there, 
It sort of blends in pretty good actually. Considering the red's right up the top, the bottom half looks really good. So there we go. That's a pretty. I like that for an aged birthday. So there we go. I'll put all the um, stamps, all the products that I've used, um, either or probably both below this video in the description and on my blog so thanks for watching everyone and i'll be back with another card but not not too long <laughs>